There's a place where visitors can learn about maritime history in scale, as we discovered at the National Museum of Ship Models and Sea History in Sidoris. The Endeavour um, is about four feet long and it's a model that was constructed, again one of six models, for the Australian Bicentennial, Bicentennial three years ago. Uh, there were a number of these on display at various celebration points in Australia and I was able to acquire one of them. The model of the Constitution is about seven feet long and is very, very accurate. It was built in Ceylon, south of India, about 25 years ago. The unique feature of this model, other than its historical value, is that it's extremely accurate with the rigging of the sails and the reef lines, um, where accuracy counts in a model because it's really a historical artifact. Uh, actually, what sort of began the museum was that my collection of ships over a period of 30 years got to the point where I either had to start selling them to make more room in my own house or do something with them. There's about uh, 220 models of which about 110 are in the museum at the moment. Um, there are some models from rather well-known movies the model of the HMS Victory is about 14 feet long and 11 feet high with the masts on it. It was used in a series of movies of the same time period with Nelson's flagship and was purchased from Universal Studios. Uh, the use of these ships, again because they're large, was to show model battles in seas and the way in which this was done was to load gunpowder charges in small cannons that essentially would plug into light sockets inside the hull. Someone on shore would then press a keyboard and blast away. We have the nine foot long uh, Roman galley from the movie Cleopatra in 1956 with Richard Burton and Liz Taylor. And finally, a very, very unique model from the movie Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur's model is about seven feet long and made of copper and aluminum. It's hand-hammered copper to form the shape of a Roman galley. And then, of course, the sails and the superstructure are all wooden. There's about 75 oars that need to go into the model at this point in time. The building was originally the first um, country store in Sidoris uh, about 1878. Uh, it existed as a country store until slightly after the Depression and then became a number of other things, uh, a lodge, a post office, a storage building, and has been vacant for the last 40 years until I began the restoration three years ago. This is a model of an English three-decker from the 17th century. The model is about three feet long, and as you gradually get closer to the hull, you begin to realize that it's made out of matchsticks with the heads cut off. It was constructed by a prisoner in the Louisville prison system about 15 years ago. When I started the museum three years ago, there was a newspaper article that appeared in a number of publications. And a lady, Mrs. Ferguson from Dallas, Texas, contacted me and said she had this wonderful model she would like to donate to the museum. The model is about 200 years old and was made for Belgian consulates around the world about 200 years ago. This ended up in a building in, tech, in Dallas in which her husband purchased the building and then she decided to donate it to the museum. So it's one of our prime acquisitions. Uh, 
I think I'm the only museum that focuses on ship models totally in the country. And secondly, um, we can present a lot of the history of the world in the museum through ship models. So it becomes an educational endeavor also. The museum is located in Sidoris, which is just 10 miles south of Champaign. And in addition to the models, the museum occasionally offers puppet shows for the younger crowd. To reach the National Museum of Ship Models, call 217-398-1998 or go on the web to the address shown and click on the museum link.